Dante's Discussion. Welcome back to another edition of Dante's Discussion. That's right, we're back. I am back with yet another question. Sorry about last week. Uh, I will get to that answer uh, of that last week's or two weeks ago Dante discussion next week. But I wanted to get another Dante discussion here about Dark Souls 3 because uh, it was sort of fresh in my mind. Some uh, build I tried to do that was a big failure because uh, faith spells are just too damn slow. That's straight up what it, it boiled down to. It is very unfortunate. But there might be a way not in faith to possibly make it work but is it viable i don't know but the question that i ask you what is the best wake up attack meaning after you get a repost after you get a uh, front stab back stab or um you just knock somebody over with an r2 or like a gun deer's champion charge or something like that uh when somebody is it has fallen in whatever way on the front on the back doesn't matter what is the best wake up? There's a lot of interesting choices. I mean, when that happens and you have a straight sword, a lot of times people, what they do is they just charge the R2. They charge the R2 because sometimes the timings are weird and people panic roll and you can get a hit. Uh, what about a dagger? A dagger is interesting because it is so quick that sometimes if the connection isn't perfect, you just get that hit in the phantom range. But what is the best? What's the one that seems to work the most? Or it's almost like impossible to get away from. I mean, I've seen it on just about every weapon. I've even seen it on uh, uh, like uh, a curve sword doing an R2, the spin attack. I've seen that somehow work. Um, S-Stock is one of these interesting ones where I've seen this work a lot. This one's actually really good. So you basically just do two R1s and a lot of times the second R1 catches them even if they roll straight back. It's bizarre. It's kind of amazing. Um, you know, what else is there? Well, uh, probably one of my favorites and one of the best uh, examples I can really see. I mean, there's certain wake-ups that you, like, it's so perfect you get hit. You can't do anything. You can't roll. You can't, you, like, you you literally, you, like, you're getting up and then you get hit. And that happens with the Black Knight Greatsword sometimes. So, let's say you, you knock somebody up in the air. You launch them. Well, what, if they're in front of you, what you do is you turn around. And you just fully charge that. And because the hitbox is kind of a long-standing hitbox, you're able, a lot of times, to fully stun them. Another classic one of a, uh, a wake-up that you just can't get out of is uh, Champion Charge by Gundyrs. You knock somebody over with the full Champion Charge, and then you just do it again. And sometimes, depending on how they landed or whatever the reason is, you're able to stun them and get two in a row. I don't know why it is. I, I, I'm not really sure. I, I think it's something to do with if you attacked while or if it was a counter hit or something like i'm not i honestly i don't know i don't know if it's poise ridden i don't know if, i don't know what it is it's, <laughs> it's i actually would like to know it's it's kind of amazing um there's a lot of interesting ones uh, other ones you could do it with the uh, gun deers as well but let's do it with the glaive is you uh, can just do the r2 and spin sometimes you get the, the hit on the second or uh, actually, you know what? One of my favorites, if I pop somebody's tears like with a backstab or something like that, one of my favorites is you just throw a knife. You throw a knife. Just as soon as they're about to get up. A lot of times people don't panic roll if you're not winding up something. So you just throw a knife and because it's super quick and no one expects it, a lot of times you just you hit them and you kill them for that last little tiny bit. But, but what is the best? Um, and I'm not including spells here because I don't have spells on this character, but there are certain spells like the lightning, the one that Dragon Slayer has, or not the Dragon Slayer, the the one guy, Storm Dragon. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. The the spell that you get from him, where it you know has like an area of effect attack, uh, that or the um, was it Chaos Chaos Storm. Uh, I wonder if there's any. 
I don't know if there's any um, sorceries. I'm not sure. Sorceries are, I guess, pretty bad for that. But I want to know your thoughts on what the best wake up is. What is the, I mean, what, uh, not necessarily the damage, although you can mention that if you'd like. But I, I want to see what, it, what wake up works if you know how to use it most percentage of the time than not. Uh, not necessarily the most damaging, but what wake up just obliterates people. That's what I want to know. What hits them all most of the time, like all the time. What a, what's a weapon you use and you're like, and every time I knock somebody down with this, it's just like I keep hitting them until I run out of stamina. It seems, you know, like that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Put it in the comments below. You will definitely be featured in uh, probably two weeks from today. Because next week I'll have the answers portion of the last or two weeks ago uh, question. But I hope you enjoyed this one. It's an interesting topic, I think, anyway. Because everybody tries to get a wake up. But, but which one works the most, the best? Put it in the comments below. You'll be featured. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. And I will be back.